Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Mona Thorpe here joining us live on the podcast and Zoomcast from Ridgefield, Connecticut. Uh, she is a Law of Attraction success coach. And by the way, the number of the email for her is success-411.com, correct? S-U-C-C-E-S-S-411.com? That's correct. That's the website. Perfect. Yeah. Excited to have you here and to talk more about the work you're doing. Let me start off by just having you introduce yourself. Thank you. Okay, great. Well, as you said, my name's Mona Thorpe. I'm a uh, law of attraction success coach. Have been doing that for more than 30 years and absolutely love what I'm doing. I work with people to help them find out what could possibly be holding them back from achieving the exact goals that they'd like to uh, achieve in life. A lot of us do that, uh, but I think it's important. I want to find out, obviously, more about your company and the work you're doing to help people, but it's important, I think, for me, for our listeners to get to know you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where'd you grow up, and tell us about your life, and then what brought you down this path to become this type of coach. Okay, great. Well, okay, so I was born in uh, Westchester, New York, and uh, What brought me here was that I had a really uh, challenging childhood. It it was very difficult for me to uh, get good grades in school or actually, I have to say, I couldn't pass a test. It was really challenging for me. So and, and on top of that, I was very shy. So both academically and socially, I was very awkward. And uh, th- my father got me tutors and the teachers were trying to help and uh, just nothing worked. And he would donate money to the school. So they passed me to the next grade. And it was not really good for my self-esteem. And finally, you know, everyone around me was giving up on me. And I basically was giving up on myself. I just didn't feel like a success at all in, in yeah. any aspect of, of my childhood. So uh, that went on for a while until I hit 16 years of age. And that's when it it was like a lightning bolt hit me. And I said, you know what? Nobody can fail at everything. (laughs) There's got to be a reason for this. And uh, that's when I got three waitressing jobs, put myself in therapy and uh, started to do some introspecting and finding out what's going on in there, you know, what's happening. And uh, I spent many, many years in therapy, but I also took uh, self-development courses and I studied uh, metaphysics and spiritualism. I read almost every self-help book you could possibly find. Uh, Some of my favorites being Napoleon Hill and a variety of others. Uh, And it was when I turned 23, Jill, I... I looked around at my life and I was like, whoa, how, you know, how did I get here? Because I, I had, my friends were saying, Mona, you know, who are you? You know, because it was a whole transformation. I had a business that um, was very successful. And this was back when women really weren't recognized as having to be successful or especially in business. And uh, I earned more in one month than most corporate executives earned in a year. And uh, I had lots of friends. I was married to a successful young man. It was like my life was totally different. So my friends said to me, can you help us? <laughs> Tell us what, what did you do? Because many of them had you know, two degrees and they just weren't you know, accomplishing what they wanted to in life. So I said, absolutely. But then I thought to myself, what am I going to do? show them. And I had to go back and look at what I did for all those years. And then I boiled it down into six steps, six very powerful steps that made the most difference in my life. And I shared it with them and they started to, to make amazing changes uh, in their relationships, in their careers. Uh, and then they were sending me their family, their brothers, their fathers, their mothers, their uh, everything. And I was thinking to myself, okay, I love what I'm doing in this career that I have now. I love being an executive recruiter. I loved working with people and getting them jobs. And it was like the best feeling in the world. And, um, but this overrode that totally. Uh, 
the, the is to sit down with someone that's blocked, you know, Jill, it's, it's, and to see how they can't, they're just keep hitting this a brick wall yeah. and they're so frustrated and, and unhappy. And, uh, and then to see them make that shift, like a light bulb, like with me, a light bulb goes off and you're like, mm-hmm. Oh, that's what happened. That's what I, that's why I'm like, like that. Uh-huh. yeah. Oh my gosh. So let's talk more about this law of attraction. Uh, and I know you want to talk about, um, you know, they say there's a secret to the law of attraction, but uh, not really. Tell me about this, right? Because there's that book, The Secret, then you have the yeah. Netflix video. Tell me about that. Well, you know, I, I think the law, the sec- the book was fabulous. Uh, it was fun. It brought uh, to the forefront of people's minds that there's a, a, a phenomenon that if you think positive, you can attract the things that you want into your life. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very important to understand and to know that you can do that. But that is not new. (laughs) That is not a they say, but they say sometimes you manifest the secret and you you do your vision board to do sometimes it doesn't work for people. Is that because they have an inner trauma that they need to correct, you know, and then they're just gonna be like, this didn't work for me. Oh, it didn't work. Exactly it. Okay, okay. The nail on the head. You know, and that's what I feel for people because I, the same thing happened to me. I was taking these uh, law of attraction workshops where you get up in front of the group and you talk about stuff and, and then you're given, you know, think, well, we got to think more positively about this. And, and, and yes, you do need to think positively. That's a a very important aspect of success. However, however, I was thinking so positively about everything and I could not manifest one good parking space. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and, but I would see other people getting up and they would say, oh, yes, I just uh, attracted my third winning lottery ticket. I'm like, OK, something is going on here. And when I looked more deeply into it, what happens is, is that in our conscious minds, <clears throat> excuse me, we can uh, think very positively. In fact, they have these things. Say this for 30 days and you'll get a car or say this for 30 days and you'll get a great relationship. Well, if you have nothing running interference with that thought process, that's absolutely true. <clears throat> but however, most of us have a lot of thought, uh, hidden thought processes that we're not aware of. And that's why so many of us struggle. You know, we, we, we succeed, but then we don't succeed in, in other areas. And why? Why can we succeed in one area and not the other? Yeah. So, um, so what happens is, People get frustrated. They think, oh, oh yeah. yeah, right, right. Always. So I'm saying, I get it. <laughs> I'm saying this for 30 days and what's going on. But what happens is you have two very powerful forces inside of you. Mm-hmm. One is your conscious mind and two is your subconscious mind. Mm-hmm. Now, the subconscious mind is the part of you that works behind the curtains. OK, ah. so you're not necessarily, yeah, you know, a man behind the curtain. I love that analogy. Yep. Uh-huh. <laughs> so um, behind the curtain, there's these things going on that we're not aware of. So when we think positively yeah. behind the curtain, there's something running interference with that positive thought process. So mm-hmm. then what happens? It feels like you're stepping on the gas and the brakes at the same time. OK, so the law of attraction is not a secret. Okay, it's how to use the law of attraction that has been the big mystery. Okay, so it's not just thinking positively, it's aligning your your conscious mind thoughts with your um, subconscious thoughts. When that's aligned, boom, that's where the power comes from and all the magical things that you you tell that people talk about. Oh, I I I achieved this and I crafted that. So. It's the alignment of your conscious mind and your subconscious mind and finding out what's going on in that subconscious mind that's running interference. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So this concept has been around for centuries, like you said, and I know you want to talk more about, um, you know, there really is no secret using the law of attraction. uh, You say it's hidden from us. No, the law of attraction, the law of attraction, it's not something that we had to go out and buy or, or, or learn how, you know, learn how to get it or, or, or anything. We're gifted with the law of attraction at birth. Okay. The secret is, is that we don't all necessarily know how to use it properly to get the things that we want. And again, that comes back to 
being aligned with what you want, aligning your subconscious mind with your conscious mind. So it's like, it's like if you have um, a, a square peg and you're trying to fit it into a round hole. Okay. So let's say that round hole is your goal and you have a square peg. It's not fitting. It's never going to fit. Okay. Because it's not aligned. But if you have your conscious mind and your subconscious mind aligned, you have one powerful force inside of you. So if you can do that, if you can take, take my six steps, get, find out what those uh, things are that lurk in the back of your mind that are tripping you up. Then you've got two very powerful forces working for you. And by the way, um, if I didn't mention before, the subconscious mind has the ability and does. And, and just explain that for our listeners. What is the subconscious mind? And then the conscious mind. Could you just, okay. you, some people might say, what's that word mean? <laughs> okay, the subconscious mind is, yep. um, okay, it's a really good question, Jill. Yeah. The subconscious mind is, uh, all right, it's set up, let's go back to the cave dwellers, okay? Our okay. ancestors, yeah. the cave dwellers. When they would walk outside of a cave, they could very possibly be mauled by a tiger or a uh, or eaten by a bear, whatever it is, or the opposite way around, eaten by a tiger and mauled by a bear. Um, it, they lived in very uh, dangerous times. So they needed a hyper vigilant system to protect them against these uh, things. They had to be able to think very quickly. Okay. So sometimes the conscious mind can't pick up, you know, very quickly what's going on, but the subconscious mind being that it can pick up 40 million bits of data per second can be very quick at sending a quick signal to the conscious mind, run, you know, or look out, go behind this bush, get away. This, there's danger here. Um, and that's what happens to us in this, in this time now. I mean, we don't live in a jungle. <laughs> but, I know, I mean, yeah. Some people argue with me about that and say it's just a different kind of jungle. <laughs> but, but it's cer we're certainly not going to walk out our front door and get eaten by a tiger. So we don't need, per se, that very hyper vigilant system. Um, so what we need to do is uh, kind of uh, get to know what that subconscious is all about. And that's by going through a series of questions, understand what's going on in the back of your mind, that's that in that subconscious mind so you can deal with it so you can transform those thoughts so let's say when you're a child your parents maybe in their relationship they didn't get along very well in their marriage so they're constantly saying marriage is this marriage is that so a child absorbs all that and it goes down into the subconscious okay where it's hidden so when they get older and they go into a relationship they have all these beliefs about marriage and relationship and they carry that with them yeah. so Whereas in their conscious mind, they want to have a great relationship. They want it to be wonderful, but they have these other, uh, in the back of their mind, in the subconscious mind, they have these other things playing a, a tape that's preventing them from being able to enjoy a, a wonderful relationship because they have these old beliefs. Um, so that's, did I, I hope I explained no. the, the Ab absolutely okay. i'm sorry to interrupt it and just thinking because some people no. might say well yeah so go ahead continue i'm sorry to interrupt with the question <laughs> no 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 i just wanted to make sure i was yeah because it's hard because you can't it's not like visual you can say oh here's my conscious mind here's my subconscious it's very esoteric so um so getting in there and seeing okay what's playing behind the the curtain what's going on taking a really deep look at that, then your conscious mind can work with your subconscious mind to align it with the goals that it has. Okay. So it can get rid of, it can transform those old beliefs about money, relationships, uh, a success, career. It can transform those old beliefs that it collected thinking it's protecting you because it's the job of the subconscious is to protect you. And you can start, the conscious mind can start to work with the unconscious mind, shifting those old beliefs into a powerful thought system where the, those two powerful forces work together. Yeah. And that now you put this together everyone's out there listening saying huh law of attraction this sounds good oh my goodness how can we do this mona thorpe just remind us we're about halfway through so just tell us how we can reach out to you directly okay so um i work with people uh on one-on-one -on -one coaching group coaching uh 
I love my favorite is uh, my live courses where they're two days and then we go through the six steps in two days and it takes you through the process of uncovering uh, what's in your way, looking at why some now there's another caveat to that is that when we find out what's in our way, Jill, sometimes we want to hold on to it. Okay. And there's a reason that's hidden from us also why we hold on to those old things that don't work for us. So you need to be released from that. And then we go on to the fourth step, which is, well, first step is your goal. Second step is your barriers. Why do you hold on to your barriers? Mm -hmm. And then you set up a whole new blueprint. Okay. First, you look at your old blueprint so you can make sure that you're not you know, when that old pattern comes up, you start to release it and you set up a new blueprint. Then you go on to your new emotions and onto your sixth step, which is allowing in the success that you deserve to have. So you can live a whole different, wonderful life, having the things that you want. So, yeah, so it's through live courses, online courses, uh, group coaching online, group coaching, per, you know, live. And we also do some live streaming. Awesome. You also have this uh, a writing class. What, what was that I read on the website? Uh, or it's a goal, goal writing, writing class? Yes, thank you. Yes, I do offer that for free. Uh, so people can get to feel if this is for them. So if you go to my website, you can sign up for a free goal writing class. And it's all using, uh, I've come up with 15 uh, law of attraction success codes that make writing a goal very powerful. That's your first step to success is being very clear about what you want to achieve in life and then writing that goal in such a way that you are attracting what you want to you. Okay. So that first step is the foundation of your success and guys, you can go to the website, sign up and get a taste of, of what that's like. Got it. Well, thank you so much for doing that and for sharing. So you offer this initial consultation if someone's interested, right? Mm -hmm. um, the online course itself, this one is April 26th at 2 to 3 p.m., right? Wednesday, and that's available online? Uh, yes, that is. That's correct. a master class. Okay, perfect. And uh, could we talk about some examples? Can you give me some client testimonials of how you've helped people achieve their dreams, wants, desires? I'm sure you have plenty of testimonials. <laughs> Well, I do, and you can see them on my website. And uh, but I, that's a really good question. I had one person that came in for private coaching, and at first I didn't know if I was going to be able to work with her because she sat down and said, um, "Well, I first want to tell you I have a personality disorder. I'm bipolar, and uh, I'm ADD." I'm like, "Okay, I don't know if that's really the area. Being that I'm a coach, I'm not really." You know, but I, I said, I thought to myself, let me work with her for the yeah. hour. And at the end, I'll, I'll either recommend her to, to a therapist or, or whatever. At the end of that hour, I could definitely see that she, in my mind, she did not have ADD. She would, did not have a personality disorder. Um, none of that. And she was heavily medicated by a psychiatrist. And her husband was a very influential about her seeing a therapy and getting medicated and stuff like that. So I said, listen, I'm not a therapist, but I'm going to work with you on a coach yeah. basis. As long as you know, I can't prescribe medicine. I'm not your, your therapist. I'm your coach. Yeah. And within one less than a year, it wasn't uh, ADD. It was anxiety. She had been told that she was stupid. Everything mm -hmm. was her fault from childhood. We got into those old things that went Aww. on. This is a pretty extreme. Yeah. They're not all this extreme, but um, she was told her brother was better than her. She was dumped on uh, continually. So anytime she had a thought that was positive, boom, you know, this anxiety would come in because that's the way she was treated. You know, whether she said anything positive, said anything good, anything relevant, she would be jumped on. So, so with that, I worked with her for about eight months. I, I'm sorry, but she divorced her husband. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> um, shortly after that, she divorced her husband. She started to write for the uh, it was the Irish Republican newsletter paper or something okay. over in Ireland. She started an antique business where she traveled back and forth to Ireland. She sat down on the couch. She could finish a complete sentence. She was confident. It's just connect. She was off the medication her whole life. Just totally shifted. Um, that's what can happen when you go in there and you find out what is being said, you know, what is behind the scenes that was said to you that you collected all yeah. that data. When you can uncover that and say, wait a minute, 
Okay. Now that I know that that's what was going on, do I want to continue to believe that and to operate under those old beliefs? You have a choice. You can stay there or change. And she decided to make a major change. Wow. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, amazing work that you're doing. Clearly, you're passionate about helping people. And just some of the other things as a coach, what are some of the things that people can work on with this? I mean, could you also lose weight, stop smoking? Is it, I know, like, what can we envision for ourselves? What can we attract? Is it anything? Is it money? Is it family? Is it boyfriends? Is it husbands? (laughs) Is it ditto everything okay. <laughs> everything you just said because it's attraction you can attract anything that you anything that you have anything that you focus on so intently mm-hmm. you can attract it into your life um i work a lot with bi- uh, entrepreneurs and corporations and business but i work a lot also with people that want better relationships losing weight mm-hmm. um, all of the things that you mentioned you can really uh if you have that goal, it's yeah. whatever goal you have. If you learn to uncover what's been running interference with it and you start to build an alliance with your subconscious mind and your conscious mind, you're going to attract exactly what you want into your life. Okay. Oh, I yeah. love it. I love it. We still have five minutes left in the show. What else did you want to add for today, Mona? Um, I want to tell people don't settle. Okay, don't don't settle for a life that's, you know, if you have goals, Mm -hmm. there's a way to get them. Don't settle for a life where someone told you that that was going to be the best that you were going to do. Don't settle because I was there and I know the pain that comes from that and the frustration. Um, I know what it is like to be successful, but, but, but then wanting to go to even the next level and you can't, you can do it. It's possible. Um, And the saying that I think helped me the most throughout my life was um, the person's opinion that is most important to me is my own. Because so many people have so many, uh, you know, siblings, parents, they come with their own set of of problems and ideas and beliefs about life, and they want to put them on you. Um, Just take your own opinion. Don't listen to others because you can get into a group of people too. And your friends can influence you to think certain things. Um, Don't do that. Just, you know, you know, you want to get along with people and you want to be liked, but you don't have to give up yourself to believe what they believe, you know, or to go along with the crowd. Just remember your opinion is the one that is most important to you. Love it. And uh, for a free consultation to work with you, uh, tell us how we can do so. Yes, go to my website, which we mentioned Yay. before, <laughs> www.success-411.com and uh, sign up for the free course or you can email me and that should be on the website too. You can, there's plenty, of, you can do a chat if you want to give me a call. There's a place to schedule a call, a one-on-one call where we can talk about whether this is for you or not. Um, you can also email me at info at success-411.com. And I would love to talk with you and about your challenges and and, uh, tell you more about the way that I work and see if it's for you. Awesome. There's also you doing an Achieve Health and Fitness uh, using six easy laws of attraction. So you're helping people in all different areas, the weight loss, the health, uh, business, abundance in general, uh, also attracting a, a meaningful partner, a relationship. I mean, this could really work any right for anything it, it, it's the law of attraction so it's not like it's like one thing it's not yeah. like the law of attracting business when right. you you're born with the ability to attract if you can learn how to use that deliberately and not by default Got you it. become a very powerful person great Mom and corporations Lord. Corporations also for departments that want their departments to run yeah. more smoothly or more effectively wow. the law of attraction you know you can work with them as well Perfect. And I know you have a quote, the person's opinion that matters the most to me is my own. Uh, Thank you for that. You mentioned so many people get sidetracked from their goals, but really now is the time, Um, you know, live your best life. That's the one thing that came good out of the pandemic. I believe it's like, we realize there's good to come out of it. And you know what is life is so precious. Let's do it now. Let's make our best life. We could do it. Oh, I agree with you. It really helps. Help. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And again, guys, check her out. Uh, success 411.com. Mona, pleasure having you here. Looking oh, forward Jill, to the next time pleasure. we get to connect. I'm so glad I got to interview with Yay. you. Thank you. I'm glad we're together. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you soon. Have a okay. fantastic day. 
Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay. 